thank you. Uh, respected uh, Health Secretary, Tamil Nadu, and Dr. Arvind and Dr. Epan and the friends. Uh, it gives me the great pleasure in standing before you to start uh, a very noble program. This is an initiative started by the Vascular Society of India uh, where we thought uh, too many unnecessary amputations are being done in this country. And uh, as part of that, now we are doing an amputation-free Tamil Nadu. So we want to inaugurate that. Why are we harping so much on this amputation? In fact, somebody from the press came and asked me, what do you mean by amputation? Next. You know, globally, every two minutes, uh, somebody is uh, getting an amputation done. And most of these amputations are done for diabetes and trauma. So when you see an amputee next time on the road, please sympathize with them and find out why uh, such a thing has happened. And could, it, could we have prevented this? You see this, uh, you see this lady, just a young female who has lost both her legs. She came with acute ischemia, that is sudden uh, stoppage of blood flow to her legs and it was not attended to properly and she ended up losing both her legs. So an amputation is so devastating for the patient, for the family and if it happens to the breadwinner, the entire family is on the road. The important thing is, majority of these amputations are done for people with diabetes and after trauma. It happens because there are not enough vascular surgeons in this country and the awareness about vascular surgery is also very poor. Many people don't even know what is vascular surgery, they confuse it with cardiovascular surgery. The vascular surgeons are the ones who deal with blood vessels outside the heart. Vessels in the heart and the heart itself is dealt with by the cardiac surgeon. All the vessels outside the heart, we deal with, we are the vascular surgeons. Why we are talking about awareness? India has the highest, it's a diabetic capital of the world and right now it is, uh, we are supposed to have around 101 million diabetics in this world, in this country. And 6 to 7 percent of them develop diabetes. So all these epidemiological studies have been done by Chennai based diabetic centers. So they are very authentic. And Indian population is also aging. So as age increases, the blood vessel block will also increase. You are as old as the artery. If the artery stays young, you will stay young. So it's very important to maintain that uh, vascular well-being. And smoking is also going up. Smoking, age and diabetes are the three important causes for developing blood vessel block. So we expect a huge number of vascular complications in, uh, because of our population. Are we really ready for that? You see, it's a very classical image. You, know? you see, you smoke and your foot undergoes damage. So you see here in this patient, the entire, all the toes have turned black and you can see the agony in that patient's face. The tissues are dying because of lack of oxygen and he's screaming with pain. And when the blood vessel to the leg gets blocked, you develop gangrene. When the blood vessel to the brain gets blocked, you develop stroke. When the blood vessel to the heart gets blocked, you develop heart attack. It's kind of the same disease, only the region is different. And there are around 300 to 350 vascular surgeons, fully trained vascular surgeons in this country. And there are about another 200 uh, cardiac surgeons and general surgeons with some exposure to vascular surgery, they also do. So you can imagine for a country of our size and uh, population, we hardly have enough vascular surgeons. But fortunately, Tamil Nadu has the maximum number of vascular surgeons because Chen, uh, like uh, Dr. Ayapan mentioned, we are the mecca of medicine. And we have, we only started the first department of vascular surgery in this country. And, uh, and Fortunately, I am the first qualified vascular surgeon of this country. So, majority of the vascular training, if you see, 
centers, very few. You see places like north and east, hardly anybody. Anybody, nobody is there. So what happens to these patients who develop problem that either they have to come to Delhi or they lose their legs. So this is a totally inequality. And majority of the centers are all located in the Tamil Nadu. And uh, we, I am very proud to say that Kaveri Hospital is the only private hospital approved by the National Board to conduct super speciality training course in that hospital. And there are only around 20 to 25 medical colleges in the country uh, where there is a dedicated vascular department available. So when a medical student goes through the training, he is not exposed to any vascular diseases at all. So naturally his awareness about it out when he qualifies is very poor. So this anomaly has to be corrected. And health diagnosis is delayed, reference is uh, delayed and leads to neglect and the patient loses the leg. And there are some startling facts you must remember about diabetes. So diabetes is general, gender neutral disease that it affects the male as well as the females equally. Many a times women are protected from many other diseases because of the hormones, but diabetes is not uh, forgiving. The gangrene is as common or in fact more common in a diabetic woman than in a diabetic male. And majority of the time a patient with diabetes gets admitted to the hospital due to the foot problems. And the most important thing is 85% of these lower limb amputations in diabetics is preceded by an ulcer. That is, it starts with a small ulcer. You, you don't look after it well, it goes on spreading, or somebody goes around cutting the toe without improving your blood supply, it starts spreading and they ultimately lose the leg. And the risk of developing arterial block increases with the number of years of diabetes. If somebody is diabetic for 10 years, the risk is around 15%. If it is 20 years, the risk is around 40%. That is, if they are diabetic for uh, 20 years. And the, one of the most important information of this talk is this, that many limbs are lost because of minor surgeries that are done in diabetic patients without assessing vascularity. Patient comes with an ulcer, small abscess, so a surgeon, plastic surgeon, general surgeon or a diabetologist goes and immediately puts a knife and drains the abscess. Okay, abscess has to be drained, but before that you should check whether the blood flow is there or not. If the blood flow is not there, wherever you cut will turn black again and the gangrene spreads. You would have heard stories in the family that the entire leg finally patients have turned. So this happens because nobody has looked at the blood flow. If you correct the blood flow, you can stop the problem with the toe. You improve the blood flow and you can remove the toe alone. But if without improving the blood flow, you remove the toe, you cause more trouble. And the other important thing is this, 35 to 50 percent of the patients who lose one leg today will develop the same kind of problem next year, within one year. So that means if he loses one leg today, one year later he is going to be having the same problem and he lose the other leg also. So you have no business to remove the leg without improving the blood circulation. What happens in these patients, you see here, here atherosclerosis is the cholesterol, that is fat and calcium like material which deposits inside, just like a suit in a chimney. Uh, simple as all upon, uh, or one inch pipe becomes a quarter inch pipe. So blood flow reduces in. In the part of the ratakura and the part of the ratakura So like I said, heart upon, heart attack. Brain upon a stroke, call upon a leg attack or gangrene. Gangrene means tissue death. Uh, do we operate on every patient? No. First and foremost, we treat medically unless there is this emergency. Medical treatment includes stopping smoking and tobacco in any form. You should not smoke, should not chew tobacco. It is very, very, very important. No med treatment will work if you cannot do that. And keep walking. Our slogan is stop smoking, keep walking. If you do that, your vascular health is good and you will not develop problems. And next important thing is foot care and footwear. So improper footwear and improper foot care is responsible for ulcers developing and that spreads. So we always advise them they must wear padded footwear even at home. 
என்னோட பேஷண்ட் ரெண்டு மூணு பேர் இருக்கிறாங்க கஷ்டப்பட்டு ஆப்ரேஷன் பண்ணிட்டு காலு காப்பாத்தியாச்சு தே கோ அண்ட் கோ டு த டெம்பிள் அண்ட் சே தேங்க் யூ லாட் அண்ட் கம் பேக் வித் பிளிஸ்டர் ஏன்னா நம்ம டெம்பிள்ஸ் எல்லாத்துலேயும் பராமல் போட்டிருக்காங்க இட் இஸ் ஸோ ஹாட் யூ கே நாட் வேர் அ ஃபுட் வேர் அதுக்குன்னு தனியாக வி ஹாவ் ஸ்பெஷல் சாக்ஸ் தேர் ஆர் சாக்ஸ் வித் சிலிகான் கோட்டிங் அண்டர் நீட் ஸோ தட் வில் ப்ரிவெண்ட் த ஹீட் ஃப்ரம் அஃபெக்டிங் த சோ So they have to do that. Then we advise them blood thinners, which will prevent clotting from developing, con- uh, cholesterol lowering drugs, which will reduce the block, control of diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, and lifestyle modification, diet, and things like that, or regular exercises, and all those things will help towards your vascular health. You can avoid an amputation. But what if you develop the problem? So the thing is, ஒன் <laughs> where we do a bypass just like a road principle if the road is uh, bridge is bl- uh, bad you create a temporary passage this is what is called bypass from here uh, tube is attached to the upper part where the blood flow is good to the lower part where the artery is open again this we normally use only the synthetic uh, i mean uh, patient or the wound uh, uh, like vein the same thing that happens in the heart we do it in the leg also we can save the leg like this you see here this is a synthetic graft and that one is a vein graft and nowadays the open surgeries are slowly reducing and we are doing this minimal access surgery that is the endovascular procedure like you see here the uh, artery is uh, blocked we pass a wire across the artery and then balloon it so the balloon actually compresses the artery and pushes the material so that the lumen is re established this is what is called balloon angioplasty and when you remove the balloon sometime it collapses so we put a, a metal net like metal inside which keeps the artery open that is the stenting so we can do an angioplasty you can do a stenting in these patients <clears throat> see this is this is not something that is happening now this article i wrote in 1990s kaluk kuri vaikum sakkarai the sakkarai vyadhiyile ஒரு சின்ன புண்ணு வந்தாலும் அந்த பேஷண்ட்டுக்கு இம்மிடியட்லி பேனிக்ஸ் ஐயோ கால் போயிட போகுது அப்படின்னு தட் இஸ் ரீசன் இஸ் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் புவர் ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் ஸோ தேவை சுய பாத பூஜை டோன்ட் டூ பாத பூஜை ஃபார் காட் மேன் யூ டூ பாத பூஜை ஃபார் யுவர் ஓன் ஃபுட் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு லிவ் நார்மலி வித் யுவர் லெக்ஸ் இன் தேட் ஸோ தட் இஸ் த மெசேஜ் தட் வி வாண்ட் டு கிவ் எவ்ரி பாடி சி பேஷண்ட் வித் பிரெயின் ஸ்ட்ரோக் யூ சி ஹியர் the blood flow to the brain gets blocked and a small clot develops it goes inside the brain produces a stroke so this can be tackled by side you can see the other picture the one with a lot of clots inside the artery after cleaning and the material that has been removed so this kind of surgeries are possible to prevent stroke see this minimally invasive surgeries endovascular procedures are now done more often than open surgery and this has been facilitated by an excellent advanced hybrid cath lab at kaveri hospital and kaveri has been at the forefront of preventing amputation we do around 75 open surgeries and 150 endovascular procedures towards limb salvage there are also other vascular procedures that we do like varicose vein and other things this is only towards vascular uh, i mean limb protection and preventing amputation around 200 225 to 250 uh, limbs we salvage every year we also perform 25 to 30 stroke preventing surgeries like preventing the carotid endarterectomy so during covid time we actually worked full time there was no rest nobody ran away from covid we were working every day to operate because blood clot was the biggest problem during covid and we were able to do Uh, more than 100 cases we did surgery and prevented amputation in these patients so much so that our result has been published in a very 
prestigious, prestigious journal, Vascular Surgery Journal. So in 1994, on 6th of August, we met. So we were only a handful of surgeons then. So uh, we called a meeting of the uh, vascular surgeon throughout India 